In the last video I was looking at this little pump and it came with this adapter and I thought I'll check the adapter out. And when I did, uh, I found that the earth pin is not connected to the metal inside. Continuity in the metal pin itself, but nothing to the metalwork inside, so I think we should explore this further. This is also a, a good time to introduce my new toy, it's a, another Amical meter, and Amical actually got in touch and asked if I wanted a, a meter just to use, just a, as an extra meter, just to play with. And I chose this meter here because it's one of the more down-to-earth ones, and it's got this massive display in it, it's huge! And uh, it's also manual ranging, it's a nice simple meter, it costs about £44, it's, it's very affordable. And uh, the crucial bits, it has category 3 and 4 input protection. Uh, and then Amical actually sent me some extra goodies, including things like this. They, you saw from my videos that I was an electrician, and they sent me this clamp meter, which is specifically intended for leakage current testing. Which I'll be, I'm going to cover this in a separate video because it is such an interesting little meter. It really is designed for sniffing down earth leakage fault currents. Very neat, because it goes to, it's got a 200 milliamp range, which uh, is accurate to about a tenth of a milliamp. It's just, it's really unusual to see that. So, uh, yeah, this this is going to feature in another video, though. In the meantime, enjoy this bigger display. That's nice. I do like the display in this. And uh, we'll actually open this plug right now and take a look inside, because um, something is not connected in here. Oh, before I do this, I'm going to put that screw back in, because this uh, I've featured these horrific adapters in other videos. And uh, here's the standard British square pin plug. It's got the big stout earth pin, and I've shown in other videos that you can put the you can put it the wrong way up. You can defeat the earth. You can put it into the live outlet, uh, and then the current would flow through the load, and this would become live. But someone else pointed out the piece de resistance. This is uh, just unbelievable. Earth pin is connected to the metalwork of the appliance. It goes directly into the live pin, the live socket. So you could make a whole appliance live accidentally if you're fumbling around and plug this into this. That's just, or even if kids were playing with it, because you know, it's just like Lego, it's a toy. And the fact you can do that is just horrific. But anyway, let's open it up and take a look inside and see why that uh, earth isn't connected, because it does look like it goes all the way back. Never worked out why it says for export only. That that kind of explains things. <gasps> that these are just these screws are holding the pins in, and they just press against the metal. And the earth actually looks as though it's actually sticking down further. than the others, so that's why it's not making contact, because it's actually further away than the others. I wonder if it even makes decent contact with those ones. It, it was making continuity. But then it, it's just barely, because there's just the tiniest bit, you know, it closes up almost completely before it looks as though it actually makes connection. They're horrific. They're worse than that I, I even remember seeing before. That's just bizarre. They're terrible. Uh, but then again, we kind of know they're terrible, and I'm not sure. I'd rather, actually, they just didn't send these out. I'd rather they just said, you know, find, find an adapter yourself, and, you know, go somewhere and get a standard sort of shaver-type adapter. But these things are just... These things are no good at all. But, um, yeah, that's interesting. I really should, uh, I really should cover... There's, there's more than one type of this. I should uh, try and find an example of each, and then we can explore them and just see how well they're made. Uh, hopefully they're better made than this one, but yeah. Yeah, that's that's quite interesting. 